Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I'm Jill with Go English Coach. So let's go back here and we're going to look at some of these words. So where I've got this little red line, we've got these pairs. So sets of two, right? And what I want to talk about is this voiced versus voiceless. Okay, what does that mean? We talked about this a little bit in when we were discussing vowels, but let's go ahead and just kind of review again here, okay? So we've got boat. If you put your hand here on your throat and make the sound b, 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 you can feel some vibration here, okay? Vibration, b, b, all right? What that means, we call the vibration, we call that voiced. It's easy to look at that a little bit more when we compare it to the other one. So if we put our hand here and we do the P sound, there's no vibration, right? It's only air coming out. It's air moving out of our mouth. This is what we call aspiration. So pink, pink, pink. So there's air coming out, okay? Boat, boat, boat. There really isn't movement coming out, okay? So that means this one is voiceless. Okay, voiceless. All right, the same with these two, voiced and voiceless. D, dance, d, 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 d. I can feel vibration here. So this one is voiced. Remember we discussed this being the same point of articulation in each of the sounds, right? T, t, table, table. Let's look at that. Does T have aspiration? Okay, and look. Table, table, table. I have to push it out, but there is some aspiration there. Okay, so that one is voiceless. So that is the only difference. B, b, h, h. Okay, that's the only difference in those sounds is that one is voiced and one is voiceless. All right, let's move on. So go and kick. We've got the. G, g, there's voice there. And then let's see, does this one have aspiration? Yep. So it's voiceless, okay? Voiceless. No voice. Voiced and voiceless. Okay. Okay. Fine, fine, fine. No voice. So this one is actually voiceless, okay? And then very, very, okay? So for my students, for those of you that are native Spanish speakers, you often have problems with this one and you confuse it with this one. And for you, it ends up sounding to us identical. For example, when I was living in South America and Peru, people would have to say, they would say B or V. For them, they it's pronounced the same. So they would have to clarify that B de vaca, right? <laughs> so if you're a Spanish speaker, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, so in, in, in English, those two sounds are different. Okay, B, 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 only my lips, and B, here has my lips, my bottom lip, and my teeth. V very. Okay, have you guys figured out what these are about now? So we've got in each scenario here, we've got the voiceless and the voiced. So we did this one is voiced, okay? And then we've got think. So let's check here. Think, no vibration. So voiceless voiceless okay and then we've got the word then then that one has voice right its vibration is there okay okay let's keep moving so no vibration so voiceless okay and then zoo zoo okay there is vibration there 
Okay. All right. Couple more. We've got shh. No vibration. Voiceless. And beige. You can feel the vibration there. Okay. All right. Thanks, you guys. We're doing great here. You're doing great. Okay. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Nope. Voiceless. I'm going to put VL, okay, as a abbreviation. And J, J. We have the voice there. Okay. All right. Let's look at our last row. Rows. We don't really need to test these for voice or voiceless because there aren't, we don't have a voiceless R. It's always voiced. Voiced. Yeah, yeah. Wah, wah. Ha. Actually, this one is voiceless. Okay. So really the voiced and the voiceless part comes in in these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs. So those 16 sounds each have kind of a voiced version or a voiceless version, okay? And that's really what you need to know. When you come to these, these kind of are their unique own sounds that really don't have a version that is voiced or voiceless. All right, so let's take, let's spend a couple minutes doing this here. So let's practice a little bit with some of these voiced and voiceless sounds. We've got the, it says listen and repeat. So I will, I will say these and I would like for you to repeat them. And I want you to pay attention to these sounds that have the bold consonants in the first phrase. So it says the bold consonant in the first phrase is voiceless, voiceless, so no vibration, okay? The bold consonant in the second phrase is voice, so it has vibration, okay? So practice going that these are phrases that are very similar. Their only difference is one sound, and that sound is either the voice, it's voiced or voiceless. So it's a really good practice, okay? So number one, we've got half a glass, half a glass, have a glass, have a glass, half have. I hope that you can hear the difference in those. Okay, an unusual H, an unusual age. D, D, H, ch. The final sound here is ch, and this is j. Okay, let's keep going here. So great prices with an S sound on that one. Prices, great prizes, prizes. A new cup. A new cub, a new cup, a new cub. I want you to also pay attention to another thing that happens. Another thing that happens when you have these sounds at the in the final position of the word. Um, in many cases, the full sound is unreleased. So cup, I'm not saying cup, cup, okay? I'm saying cup, cup almost like you cannot hear it. If you compare that to this or prizes, in the beginning position, P is aspirated. In the final, it's not. Cup, cup, prizes, prizes. Okay, so we use the piece of paper again. Prizes, prizes, cup, cup. So you can see the difference between P in the beginning of the word and P at the end, okay? Now, what I wanna tell you here too is that does not mean that if you say cup, I'm not going to understand you. I will understand you and everyone will understand you. If you say cub, it's just going to sound like you're making a point to say it, okay? Uh, a cub is a baby bear. So you can say there was a cub in the park. There was a cub in the park. Two more here, a small lock, a small log, lock, log, lock, log. Okay, and then the last one, the couple's wet, the couple's wed, wet, wed, wet, wed. So the same thing here, I'm not saying wet, 
I'm saying wet. So if I compare that to turtle, turtle, wet, wet. T in the beginning, we push out air more versus T at the end, we don't really push out air. Okay, well, I would like for you guys to practice those a little bit more. Um, practice using the voiced and voiceless sounds. Specifically, trying to go back over, I would like you to go back over any sounds that are either not in your first language, something that causes difficulty for you, something that maybe you didn't know and now you know. Uh, let's see, maybe you often make mistakes with those and then focus on learning and working with those sounds. Okay. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. And I will see you in our next class. Bye.